Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, let us discuss about embryo rescue. So what is meant by this embryo rescue? What is the protocol involved in this embryo rescue? Actually, why this embryo rescue is a method is used and what are the importance of this embryo rescue? I mean the applications each and everything will be discussed in this video. So watch this video till the end so that you people can easily understand of what I'm saying. So let us discuss about this embryo rescue first. The technique which is used for the development of a plant embryos that does not survive properly to develop into a complete plant is called as an embryo rescue. So we know the normal embryogenesis process where the complete plant will get developed from the embryo is called as an embryogenesis, right? But in some cases, there are some embryos which cannot develop into a complete plant. So to prevent that, this embryo rescue method is used. When this embryo rescue method is used to an immature embryo, then it will get converted into a normal mature embryo and that mature embryo will get developed into a complete plant. So in this way the embryo rescue method is used. So this technique is used for the development of a plant embryos that does not survive properly. That does not survive properly means immature embryos. It is mainly used for the development of the immature embryos to the mature embryos for the development into a complete plant. Right? So this is about the embryo rescue actually the definition of the explanation of the embryo rescue. So let us learn in detail about this embryo rescue method. And the most widely used embryo rescue procedure is referred to as an embryo culture, right? So now that plant embryos which we are chosen, right? And that plant embryos will be taken into a culture media. And now here culture media is nothing but where you are taking this plant embryos in a culture plates or also culture tubes of your of your wish. So here, here I am going to take a culture plate and in that culture plate I am going to place this plant embryos and then we are going to keep these plates which consists of this plant embryos into a room and make sure that the room should be maintained with proper suitable temperature, photo period and humidity. And the temperature which should be maintained is 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Right. So uh, normally uh, the scientists who have discovered, I mean the first successful in vitro embryo culture was performed by Hanning in 1904. Right. So this is very much important to remember. His name is Hanning in 1904. He developed this technique. So this will be about your introduction part of this embryo rescue. So now let us discuss about the protocol. I mean the procedure how this embryo rescue, uh, you know, how we are going to prepare this embryo rescue method. Let us see now. And now let us discuss about the procedure of the embryo rescue. So normally there are two type of embryos which should be chosen. First type of embryo which should be chosen is ovule which consists of hybrid embryo. And another type of embryo which we have to choose is ovule which consists of normal embryo. So let us see in the diagrammatic form. So we know that ovule consists of endosperm as well as the embryo, right? So what is the first case which we have took? Ovule with hybrid embryo. This reticular one which I have drawn is known as hybrid embryo. And here, this, uh, here there is a presence of the immature end endosperm. So immature endosperm, I have mentioned here immature endosperm. Why? Because this endosperm, there is no use of this endosperm where it doesn't provide any nutrition for this hybrid embryo to get developed into a complete plant. Hence, it is called as immature endosperm. But if you see in the case of second ovule, what I have said you in the second ovule, ovule with normal embryo. Here, normal embryo will be present in the sense normal endosperm will also be present. So as there is a normal endosperm that is mature endosperm, then it has a nutrition availability. So it provides that nutrition to this normal embryo. Once this normal embryo will receive that nutrition which has been provided by this normal endosperm, then it has a capability to develop into a complete plant. Right. So here by this you can understand that this immature endosperm doesn't provide any nutrient to the hybrid embryo. So this hybrid embryo cannot develop into a complete plant. Here this normal endosperm can provide nutrition to this normal embryo so that normal embryo can develop into a complete plant. So in this these are the both cases of ovules which we have chosen. So now in the second step what we have to do. See. So this is the first step. First step is nothing but the choosing of these ovules, two type, two different kinds of ovules. So in the second step, what you have to do is that you have to extract or else isolate this hybrid embryo from this ovule. And now you have, you now again you have to isolate this normal embryo from this ovule. So you are going to isolate both the embryos from both the ovules. And here how you can isolate by using micro injections method. Okay, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to prepare another video upon this micro injections. So you can know properly about it. Micro injection here, uh, micro injection, they will inject this micro injection into this, uh, you know, into this, uh, what we say this ovule by this exit side. Here there is a presence of the exit side. From this exit side, uh, they will pick up, I will, they will extract this hybrid embryo from this ovule and this normal embryo from this ovule and both of them will get isolated.
so here there is no use of this normal embryo but there is a use of this ovule so we have to take this only this ovule so there is no need of this normal embryo so we have to throw it out or else keep it aside there is no need there is no use of it or else you can also make this uh, normal embryo culture also so that to, it can keep developed into a complete plant by using a plant tissue culture method so there is no process of uh, discussing about it so here normal embryo is not used in this embryo rescue method so please keep it aside so now what you are going to do here the ovule is necessary but this ovule is not necessary because this ovule consists of immature endosperm which is which is not necessary because it doesn't provide any nutrition availability right so this ovule is not much necessary so the this ovule is necessary because it consists of normal endosperm uh, where this nutrition availability is good so now what you are going to do as said i am going to extract this hybrid embryo as well as this normal embryo but this normal embryo will be kept aside right and now what you are going to do this here the hybrid embryo has been extracted and the normal embryo has been extracted but this embryo is not being used and now by the injection method what you are going to do is that this hybrid embryo you are going to inject you are going to inject it in normal endosperm ovule normal endosperm ovule in the sense this one i have said you there will be use of this but there will be no use of this ovule right so in this ovule you are going to from this ovule firstly you are going to extract this hybrid embryo and you are going to inject this hybrid embryo into this normal ovule which doesn't consist of the embryo like this right here that it doesn't consist of normal embryo because we have extracted and we have removed it right so this is the method which you have to do finally how the structure we can say like this right so this will be your normal endosperm and as it is a normal endosperm this will be the hybrid embryo where we have injected from this first case of the ovule with hybrid embryo which i have said you here so in simple way to say what we are going to do here firstly we are going to isolate this hybrid embryo and also we are going to isolate this normal embryo but the, as there is a no use of this normal embryo we are going to remove this normal embryo out and we are going to transfer this hybrid embryo from this first stage of the ovule to the second case of the ovule so here the hybrid embryo will be present but there is a no use of this ovule because it consists of immature endosperm but there is a use of this ovule because it consists of normal endosperm with nutrition availability hence this hybrid embryo will get transferred into this so how you can draw the structure like this so it is called as this is a normal endosperm with uh, you know mature ovule and this will be the hybrid embryo which has been transferred by this exit side through this exit side and now what you what you are going to call this hybrid you are going to call it as a embryo endosperm transplanted hybrid and the phenomena is called as embryo endosperm transplantation right so this is the phenomena which is present in this embryo rescue method so now let us discuss about the importance of this embryo rescue this technique is used to develop plants that are viable embryo rescue plays an important role in modern plant breeding development of ornamental plant crop hybrids this technique nurtures the immature or weak embryo that allowing it the chance to the survive here nurture is nothing but helping i mean this technique is mainly used for the uh, helping that immature embryo to convert into the mature embryo and to develop into the plant right so here in the case here what i have said you here the complete hybrid embryo will be developed here i mean it is placed in this uh, what we said this normal endosperm right so now this hybrid embryo has a capability to develop into a complete plant why because here there is a presence of the normal endosperm so what is the main function of this normal endosperm which i have said you here this normal endosperm plays a major role because it consists of the proper uh, what we say this uh, it consists of a proper nutrition so that it provides nutrition to the embryo so here it provides nutrition to this hybrid embryo so once this nutrition will be provided to the hybrid embryo this hybrid embryo will get developed into the hybrid plant right in this way the culture method will occur because of this normal endosperm which consists of the nutrition so in this way why why this embryo rescue method is used because to convert the immature embryo to the mature embryo right so this will be the immature embryo at the beginning case now it is a mature embryo because it consists of the normal endosperm and the hybrid embryo right so as there is a presence of the hybrid embryo there is a presence of a development of a complete hybrid plant right that's what explained in this point okay so now next one is determination of seed viability overcoming of seed dormancy and it is also used for the study of physiology in seed germination so this will be about your importance of this embryo rescue method so hope you would like this video and notes of this video will be i mean notes of this topic will be given in the whatsapp group and the invite link of that whatsapp group will be given in the description box and even uh, the techniques of the plant tissue culture technique embryogenesis organogenesis each and everything i have explained in detail uh, so all of that links will be given in the description box so people who are interested you can watch over there 
so thank you for watching this video guys if you like this video just to do like and subscribe and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment in the comment box i am going to clarify your doubts immediately or as you can also ask directly in the whatsapp group okay thank you